All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all elect. I'm the brother Kodash Apart. And in today's lesson, I'm going to go into an older video I did concerning Aaron Russo and the elite banker family's plan to implant you with a microchip. All right, you heard it here first from the men of Great Millstone. Beginning with the apostles, the elders, and brothers of Great Millstone, as well as the men in like mind that teach the same exact doctrine, give you the warning through Yahweh Yahusha. So without further ado, check this out. So this is an old video I did. It's on one of my newest channels, GMS Kadosh Apart 12. All right. And you'll see me upload on these channels with my main channel has strikes on it. So if you don't see no videos, you know, it, it ain't my fault. All right. I'm on another channel. So this is the title of it. Aaron Russo mentioned the CBDC is a part of the central bankers plan, as well as what? The RFID chip implant, according to the scriptures. All right. So check this out. So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers, where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America, with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R R an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, you can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing record, what you do. What everything. You know. Everything is in there. You know? And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave, you become a serf to these people. That's their goal, that's their intention. So you heard it from the men of Great Millstone first. You know, beginning with the apostles, elders, brothers of Great Millstone, you've been warned for decades about this man's plan. So when prophecy finally come to pass, when it's finally a reality, and you living through it, and you see it with your own two eyes, don't say that you wasn't warned, because you was warned. You was warned not to take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant, not to receive it, all right? To deny that chip, to choose death, then to bow down to this man's system. You was warned about all of that, all right? Now, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. That wicked is talking about who? The Edomites, the so-called white man and his sea line. All right. They're known as the Edomites, right? But they're also known as the border wickedness, Malachi 1 and 4. All right. And then it says be revealed. Let's go into this word revealed to see what it says. Strong's G601, Apocalypto, Apocalypto. For the word revealed, right? Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. To uncover, lay open that. It says, lay open what has been veiled or covered up. Because this man, he deals with what? Secrecy, being hidden. It's like when you watch a Bible movie, you don't see an Edomite playing a role as an Edomite. They may not even have Edomites in the movie at all, right? But if they have it, they'll have somebody else playing it. You know, a Hamite or you know, an Arab or somebody, you know, Ishmaelite, right? So what's being laid open? The truth, all right? What these prophecies really mean, how it's going to happen, the, the build up to the prophecy happening, 
as far as what? The CBDC, everything is becoming digital. People are using different payment systems and apps to pay for things outside of you and using fiat currency. All right. We was telling you that what? Part of the fourth industrial revolution is to merge man and machine together through technology. What's that technology ultimately going to be? The RFID chip implant. That's the mark of the beast, according to the Bible. All right. Disclose, make bare. To make known, make manifest, disclose what before was unknown. Because when John the Revelator had all these visions on the island of Patmos, it didn't happen during that time. Specific prophecies. Now we're in a time period when these prophecies are going to come to pass. World War Three, right? The destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, by thermonuclear missiles. The mark of the beast being the RFID chip implant that's going to be made mandatory throughout the whole entire world, pursuing the Revelation 3 and 10. We're letting you know. The other camps, they're not doing that. And it's not to, you know, bash them or nothing, but in a sense, I am bashing you because you're not teaching the truth to our people. You're not breaking down Revelation 13 and 17. And you're not breaking down 16 correctly. Because obviously, when you read Revelation 13 and 17, it's dealing with the currency that's going to be on the device, which is the mark, the RFID chip implant. That's why you can't buy or sell. At least you have the mark when that time period comes. Because the currency is going to be on the mark. All right? So now let's go back. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which is who? The prophets, Luke 1 and 70. All right? The Lord always sends his prophets before a kingdom is getting ready to be destroyed or go down. All right? And the job of the prophet is to let the Israelites know, first and foremost, to repent. Stop following the way of the heathen. Stop raising your kids up to follow the customs of the heathen. Stop worshiping their gods. The heavenly father is going to destroy you and this place, you know, at least you repent as an Israelite, right? And we also are prophet to the nations to let them know their judgment according to the Bible, right? So it says the spirit of his mouth, which is the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming back by the way of the so-called UFOs with power and great glory to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, the believers of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, right, worldwide, I believe. And he's coming to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's prophesied, right? But before that comes to pass, there's certain prophecies that have to be fulfilled, such as the FEMA camps, Jacob's trouble, all hell breaking loose, a global economic collapse, a big recession, inflation to hyperinflation, crime going up, martial law, all right? If I didn't already say it, the, the FEMA camps, persecution, you know, the, the chip being made mandatory, then the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America. These are key things that must come to pass, all right? And it will come to pass. And you was warned by the men of Great Millstone. There's countless videos on the mark of the beast that we did. There's countless videos on the image of the beast that we did. There's countless videos on any topic concerning the Bible that we did, beginning with the apostles and elders, all right? So you can't say that you haven't been warned about this man's agenda, his 2030 agenda, all right? Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Because who is the God of this world? Satan. Who, whose mind has Satan on block? Two-thirds of the nation of Israel, unbelievers, right? So it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. These people deal with witchcraft, all right? Even the English alphabet, everything that you see on the news, you see in the um, movies, you see in music videos, the music lyrics, all right, just society in general. These people are walking in gross darkness. They're corrupted by the so-called white man's philosophies and this system. It corrupted them. It got them brainwashed. They got a veil over their face, right? So it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan, right? And look at Hollywood in general, man, this government. It says, we're all power and signs and lying wonders. And that's how they're going to push this chip as a miracle 
It's a thing of convenience. You can walk again. You can, you can text with your mind. They're pushing this AI technology as a miracle, like it's godlike. All right, this is why they have something called transhumanism, which is pretty much merging men and machine. Humans evolving through technology, right? It says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteous and of unrighteousness in them that perish, right? Because like I said, when this RFID chip implant is made mandatory, they're going to deceive people. The scriptures say what? The ones that take the mark, they was deceived into taking it, meaning that they thought that they had to get it. They thought that it was no way out. Oh, I can't buy or sell. Oh, I can't have a job. Oh, I can't enjoy society. I can't travel. I can't be free. I can't be free as a human to roam the earth, right? Because everything deals with what? Buying and selling. There's no way to get out of that. Whether you are entrepreneur or you're not, whether you work for a company or you make money your own way, you know, it still deals with buying and selling. So the so-called white man, he's going to come down with great wrath because he's going to put into law that you can't buy or sell, at least you have this chip. So that's the temptation part. So it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, right? Two thirds of the nation of Israel, unbelieving Israelites, including these false prophets, right? Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And that's what's going to end up happening. All right. You guys that's teaching false doctrine, you teaching that the mark of the beast is sin. You have a lot of blood on your hands because you obviously know that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant. And let's say you don't believe it. When you go into the root words of it, and if you read it in the context, verses 16 to 17, right, it's clearly dealing with a physical device. This is something that people are going to need to buy and sell. And if they don't have it, they can't buy or sell. You can't exchange nothing, right? Continuing on, it says, they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So, yeah, you got camps that's just deceived. You got camps that's under the 501c3 charter, which if they under that, you shouldn't be following them. Because one way or another, their doctrine and their camp is pretty much under the control of the state and government that's ran by Esau Edom. And this is why all these camps outside of Great Millstone, they in one agreement. The mark is sin. They got all these false breakdowns. They got to be coming from somewhere, all right? But whether they sold out, it don't matter. They still deceived. So they're going to get the same judgment. So it says, yep, that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the love, who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's ultimately what's going on. The ones that take this chip, they love this world, all right? We're not supposed to conform to this world, Romans 12 and 2. We're supposed to conform and try to the best of our abilities to be like Yahweh Shai, all right? But ultimately, we use this grace and mercy period to preach and glorify Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right? Let me just end it with this. Um, Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when this cometh to pass, what when what come to pass? These prophecies in the scriptures, all right? End time prophecy, the mark of the beast. The World War III, martial law, the FEMA camps, the persecution of Israelites, a global economic collapse, inflation, hyperinflation, famines, a lack of resources, financial trouble, right? The unemployment rate going up. These things are prophesied in the scriptures, bad times, all right? This is what's going to take place. Scriptures tell you riches profit not in the day of the Lord's wrath. The Lord is getting ready to remove people's financial freedom away from them all right they're not going to have that security in these times to come it says and when this cometh to pass lo it will come so it don't matter if you believe in what we're saying or not the lord is going to justify us because prophecy is going to come to pass like how we saying it is because ultimately it ain't us saying it it's yahweh why yahweh shy that speak through us right it says and when this cometh to pass lo it will come so the Lord don't care if you believe or not. His word is going to come to pass anyway. Then 
shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So the day is going to come where all you people that mock the apostles, elders, and brothers of Great Millstone as a whole, the day is going to come where you're going to realize for yourself that we're the men of the Lord. We gave you the warning. You know, we taught you the correct doctrine and gospel, but you hated us for that. All right. And the Lord is going to judge you and he's going to destroy you. So now, matter of fact, I got to get one more precept now. Second Thessalonians. I think it's second or first Thessalonians. No, I think it's first. First Thessalonians 4 and 8 I'm looking for. Yep, here we go. On uh, first Thessalonians 4 and 8, it says, He therefore that despiseth, right? You got all these people that hate us, even our own people, right? They hate us. They they spread um they bear false witness against us, they they lie on us, they accuse us of all manner of wickedness that can't be proven, meaning that it's a lie. It's a rumor that somebody started from the doctrine that we teach, so forth and so on, right? He therefore that despiseth, despise of not man. You got scoffers that scoff at us. You got Israelites that just pass by in the street or on a comment board. They leave negative comments, right? But it's not us that you despising. That's what you don't realize. But the Most High who have also given unto us his Holy Spirit, the Racha Kodash, all right? So it ain't us you hating on. It's not us that you call on a liar. It's really Yahweh and Yahweh Shai you call on a liar. So all you false prophets, all you guys that spies and agents, cops, you Masonic, you know, you fall under all these all these um categories of being a sellout. You teach a false doctrine. You know, you just deceive. You're not taking heed. The Most High is going to destroy you, point blank, period. The men of Great Millstone, we are the men of the Lord, as well as the men that teach in like mind. All right? We are the men of the Lord. And we speak through Yahawah Yahweh to give you the warning that this devil's endgame agenda is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. And when that time comes, deny it at all costs. If you take that chip, you won't be forgiven and you will be destroyed. So Lord willing, you was edified. Shalom.